The topic of this slide is valuable because the coaches will discuss intramural training, referees, and a parent code of conduct. All your yes. U6 and up. Well, U7 and up, sorry. U7 and up. Okay. Um, are they usually players within the club? Travel players? High school kids, yes. Yep. Everybody agree? Yeah, yes. Mike, yeah. We, we, we had a bit of issue with our 19s where we, we couldn't get referees, and we, we had a, a couple of disciplinary issues with kind of 17 year old, 16 year old refs that, that were pretty reasonable and qualified, but they were refing 18 year olds. And um, so the last couple of years, we've, we've kind of had a policy where we have to have an adult referee over the age of 21 that does the 19s. Wow. So let me ask you all of this. Do you think that um, with those kids refing games like that, it inspired them to go on to become referees at all? Some we have, yes. We've had we had one ref course out here, and we've had a couple kids on their own um, go and get their, I don't even know what the levels are, but uh, get their own ref licenses. We were encouraged with that, and our coaches of course, it's just for education. So the referees within your club have qualifications they have to have before they referee? Not have to have. The only qualification is you have to be a freshman in high school and playing on a travel program. And they do the younger kids. Um, we typically, for our U12, U10 through U12 catch-all, is usually a junior or senior. But within that, some of them do have their official badges. Good. Anybody else? Rose Tree uses licensed referees from EPSARC or an adult from U7 and up. Anybody in a teenager can ref U5 and U6. Yeah, Penn Manor uses certified for U10 and up, and U8 we use uh, usually travel, middle school, or high school kids. Anybody else? We have a training program that, that Paul Lucas runs through. Um, through the, through the club, they have to hit an allotment of hours with him before they can go into the intramural field. They're generally the travel players, and then we push them on to Joanne to start working on those licenses. Okay, that sounds good. I have another question in regards to refereeing. Do you have a parent code of conduct of how they should act with the referees and behavior in intramural games? With all games, I guess, but intramural in particular. Yes. Yes. Everybody? Yeah. yeah. yeah.